Okay, so this is what we're on today. This is what we are on today. Okay, I don't know if that was here last time. Let me see. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Ooh, very hot. Ooh, extremely hot. All right, so what is this? Is this a supply? Or is this a return? It looks like the supply. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's check the return here. It's hot. 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 They're all hot. Yeah, this is hot. I don't know why they say, uh, or maybe it's not hot enough. Hold on one second, guys. All right, so this is where we're at. All these pipes are hot, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hot to the touch, right? Uh, for some reason, when I was bleeding right here, it was cold water. Uh, so then I, I noticed we have the zone one here, uh, completely ice cold, right? So usually on these, you can bypass it. You see this lever right here? You just move it over and then it hooks in. All right, look right here in case you guys wanna see what this is. Yeah, so I bypassed it and right away heated up, right? So I went upstairs to the apartment and the thermostat is 63 degrees. And uh, you can tell it's warm. You can tell it's warm. I don't know if it's because of this or not. But she said uh, at nighttime it gets really cold. So all I did, uh, when I looked over here, I noticed that uh, zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five, they were all on, right? They all were calling for heat. So, oh, look right here. Let's see what they got. Yep. Zone four. Zone one is garden. Zone, I don't know. We'll see. My main thing is that uh, I turned it off. Zone three, right? Let's see. She should be. Look right here. Zone three, one, E. So obviously it's already miswired right right off the bat. It's already miswired. Because I turned it off. Uh, look, zone three, right? Well, I was gonna check here to see which one is zone three. Oh man, I'm not really trying to get lost in here. Worst case, I, I'll just put them all in manual and everybody gets heat and that's it. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So anyway, so uh, zone three, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna go turn the thermostat on and, and see what's going on. Okay, so you see how the system went on right away? Bobby! Uh, she said she's one E, yeah. It says one and two. Yeah, it's 12%. You see the, the percent sign? You see percent, it's 12%, oh, 11%. And this is the water, the temperature water. Usually at 180 is where, where, where we're at. So we got the circulator pump. Is it circulating? Oh, it's down here. Boom, boom. Where is this? What do they got here? This is where they're grabbing their power here for. Where's this pump? Let's see where this pump's at. Okay. Is it pumping? No. I don't feel it pumping. Pumping! Hmm. It's going up. It is going up, Angel. You're right. It's going up. Mm -hmm, it's fitting. Yep. Yep, yep. What's that sound? That's the puppy. All right, so let's, let's, let's try to figure out what's going on. So water comes in through here. Okay. Pressure's okay. Temperature's okay. I'm glad they added this, actually. So it comes out, shoots in, goes through here. Okay. Pressure reducer Bobby. valve. Yeah. This game is really hot. Oh man, you know what? Look at this right here. And hey, look at over here. You know what to shoot. Why'd you make me sleep? 
I don't think this this uh Mommy, yeah. why did you make me sleep? Okay, hold on. It's too high pressure. This guy has no way to cut this water off. He does. Okay. I'm gonna relieve a little bit of that pressure. So you see how this feeds the thing? I'm gonna cut it off. Alright, so I don't want no more water in, in this system. Okay, <laughs> that's it. This is a backflow. This is a backflow, so oh okay so this is the zone relay so I, I guess if you go over here and it says scan here to go to the wiring diagram but when you go there the, the website doesn't even exist so that, that's that's a good sign right I took it in the kitchen. so this would be the thermostat signal out to the system which, I took it in the kitchen. okay I know why it that. okay this wire up here is, is the outdoor sensor so when it's cold outside it'll kick on uh, these are the, the the thermostat for each apartment. Uh, three wires. You got your common, your white, and your red. All of these are calling for heat except the first one. Yeah, the first one was ice cold. I, I don't know if someone's living there or not. Uh, I'm going to have to ask the guy. If someone's not living there, I'm going to have to leave it in manual mode. Because uh, there's a chance that the way this is piped, uh, that basement might interfere with, with some stuff over here. Because it, it, it was ice cold. Yeah, now it's real hot. And then on the bottom, you got your, uh, well, your zones, pretty much. Your motor and your end switch for each each one. Same thing here. Oh, and this is if you're trying to get the wire diagram. Hey! Yeah. I'm going to go back upstairs, but it still says it's 63 degrees over there. And then, honestly, for these old buildings, they don't have no insulation. All right, so this is the wire diagram for that uh, Z1 zone valve. So you notice how on the top you have all your connections to the thermostat. For the thermostat, you only need one that has heat. So obviously you need your red and your white. And for this one, you also need a common. So first thing, you obviously you want to test between C and R on each one to make sure that you have power there. And then you see those two X's right there on the left-hand side? That's the thermostat thermostat right there okay. and all the way on the bottom left uh, if you're able to see where it says power in make sure that you have 120 going in there and then for your pumps uh, normally you got two pumps or one pump doesn't matter but just make sure that you test between line and neutral to make sure that you even have voltage going to the pumps and then the last thing to check would be the zones on the bottom right but remember you could always bypass in the manual all right, so the diagnosis here is at the end of the day, uh, the building is producing heat, but it's just not hot enough. Um, honestly, I, I told him that I don't believe that, a, not only I don't believe, but I know that a three-quarter pipe ran in a loop is not enough to heat up a whole apartment with no insulation. So his solution, the easiest solution is he's going to have to get electric heaters for their probably two, and then we're going to have to just run the pipe uh, on the outside of the wall, in, inside the bedroom and the living room for the lady. Just make sure that when you quote out something like that, make sure that there's space on the panels. I don't know if you noticed, but that panel has like no space in there. And then get one that has the built-in thermostat so that you can turn it off. Because if not, they'll probably leave it on forever. And then uh, for usually when you have no space, try not to get the 220 systems. Get the ones that run off 110. Uh, they're small, medium, and large. And usually I, I, you could do a whole apartment with just three of these. And these could either be exposed or go inside the wall. Thanks for watching.